I'm working on the wheat curl mite and the viruses that it transmits. Um, so it's a microscopic mite and that itself should like scare scientists away. Uh, so you can't, you know, so you can't really see it and it, that's challenging. And then to think this microscopic mite is transmitting like three different viruses, it's even more complicated. The mite is in itself, uh, you know, sucks the plant sap and uh, can cause yield losses. But with the viruses, and it can transmit all, th you know, combinations of the viruses uh, in singly and in combination. That in some cases has resulted in like 100% yield loss in some fields. Just a small change in the temperature causes these insects and mite populations to just, you know, have an outbreak because the, the higher the temperature, the higher the metabolism and they reproduce more. So with chemicals for a carry, which are, is the mite, um, uh, order, but even those don't work because these smart mites they uh, go in the um, leaf stipule or the curl of the wheat leaf, and and they and they curl the wheat leaf in addition. That's why they're called wheat curl mites, the leaf curls, and then that protects them from the insecticide. I think IPRI uh, being in the International Year of Plant Health is just so perfect, uh, and it you know helps bring awareness to this issue that we have to take care of the plant's health and one way and I think the most efficient way is uh, breeding for res host plant resistance because we know pesticides and insecticides are, is not the way to go.